Good afternoon to one and all present here. We have gathered here today for the valedictory service to invoke God's blessings on you, our grade 10 students, as you get ready to leave your alma mater and step into the world outside. Let us begin our service by singing the hymn, Seek Ye First. concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Praise be to God. We shall now pray responsibly. Your response will be, Bless us, O Lord. We have gathered here to seek your blessings upon these our dear children, O Lord. We thank you for giving each one of them the talent, ability, and self-discipline required for this wonderful accomplishment. We are grateful to you for providing them with teachers, mentors, coaches, and counselors who have taught, nurtured, and challenged them along the way. Your response? Bless us, O Lord. Now that their minds have been well equipped with the knowledge of many different subjects, we pray that their hearts and minds will also be well equipped for a successful living. Add heavenly wisdom and discernment to their knowledge, dear Father, that they may live a prosperous and blessed life and be a blessing to the society they live in. Your response? Bless us, O Lord. Infuse their ambitions and dreams with passion that will drive them to work hard and be diligent in the pursuit of their goals. Remind them that you are only a prayer away when they meet obstacles and challenges. May they always be courageous to ask for help, advice and support when they need it. 
May they never needlessly suffer alone without reaching out to you and to others who care. Your response? Bless us, O oh Lord. Even as they become independent adults, they may all, always be dependent on you. Increase the boundaries of their influence. Help them know more people, appreciate the beauty of nature, and find strength and determination needed to work hard. May your blessings abound as they begin a new life full of joy and promise. Your response, bless us, O oh Lord. We pray for the well-being of all the students, teachers and the school staff. To the fearful, give courage. To the weak, give strength. And to those who are tired and weary, grant good health. Protect them from all harm and evil. Your response, bless us, O oh Lord. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. Let us now join our hands and sing the Lord's Prayer. Let us be bold, courageous, and most importantly, 
let us be ourselves. This school has been our safeguard, our second home, our cocoon. Just as a lava morphs into a butterfly and flies away, we too have to spread our wings. While we are in no hurry to break free, this is how it has to be. It's not just the walls of this building we're going to miss. It's the memories we made inside them. The bonds forged here will last a lifetime. In the words of Michael Josephson, Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. And don't forget to enjoy the journey. No matter how far we get in life or how successful we are, there will always be a God that connects each and every one of us to our school and our teachers. This school will forever have a special place in our hearts because once a Scottishite, always a Scottishite. Thank you. Congratulations, we have done it. All the hard work has finally paid off and we are all ready to take the next big step in life. Dear Principal, Senior Academy Coordinator, Coordinators, Teachers and my dear friends, I am honoured to stand before you today and reflect on our collective journey in this school. The past two years have certainly been tough, but now we are all here to celebrate our triumphs, our achievements, our victories and the journey we have all embarked to our future destinations. Our time at Bombay Scottish School, Bavai, has been nothing short of 12 magical years. My Angelo once said, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. And by that metric, my friends, I think we have already succeeded. Since the future is unknown, I cannot make promises for the future. But I know one thing for sure, none of us will forget the time we spent within the hallowed halls of this great institution. I thought I was attending the school for an education, but I got so much more than that. Friendship, support, independence, guidance, and a push when I needed it. Our teachers were the best, and I cannot thank them enough for their guidance and love, and for the half mark that we told them we deserved to get. I shall surely remember a few things about ICSC 2022. First of all, this was the best batch of BSS. After all, our school celebrates its silver jubilee in 2022. Our batch has the best set of students, auxiliary staff, teachers, pranksters, beatboxers, comedians. Well, the list is never ending. Our batch proved that resilience is beaming at its core. We understand that life is full of ups and downs and it is pointless to look at the downs alone. It is important to focus more on the good moments that we have experienced. Though I understand it is easier said than it's done. Another life lesson we learned in the past two years is the never give up attitude. Friends, remember that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. We just need to muster up all the courage and strength we have to keep walking to them. In the end, I would like to thank you all for being a part of this amazing, stupendous journey. Heartful thanks to all the teachers from KG to 10, who invested their time and heart to make us wise, empathetic and good. I would like to leave you all with this thought. Go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. Until we meet again at another point of life, God be with you all. Thank you. Warm greetings to you ma'am, Ms. Selvaraj, the coordinators, teachers and my dear friends. We used to dream about this moment. Now, we are in it. How can a whole lifetime go by in just a few years? Most of us here have grown up in this very building. We used to look up at the former 10th graders, wishing that we were there. Well, here we are, standing upon the cusp of infinite possibilities, with the world-class ability to go look it up on the internet. We have lost a lot of things these last few years, but we have gained a lot more. 10th grade is special. Not only because we managed to get through it in tough conditions, but also because we had a family worth being a part of. We created memories, experiences, and inside jokes. We have all the bumps and bruises of adolescence. And perhaps the barest hint of wisdom. Sometimes we feel like we could rule the world with all the memories that we've created and all the experience we have yet to know. Our whole lives up to this point have been fairly ordered and straightforward. Each year of schooling, leading naturally up to the next, 
our path clearly set and defined. But here, we have boundless freedom and the potential to change our very own lives. Dear Batch of 2022, our dreams will shift and change. It is only natural that we change with them into better versions of ourselves. It is only natural that life goes on. It is only natural that we all make mistakes. But we must allow ourselves to learn from them and keep moving forward. Look around. Look what today is a culmination of a journey that began at the front gates of our school. An adventure of a lifetime. A team effort that everyone was a part of. Our classmates, our teachers and support staff. I'm proud to know you all. I'm proud to be a part of this school. And I'm proud to have made some of my best memories and experiences here. I know we're saying goodbye, but we'll always have a piece of each other in everything that we do. Dear Batch of 2022, we are all brimming with talent and skill. Though our paths may differ, we are equal in that there are limitless possibilities before us. And those possibilities will remain, remain limitless as long as we choose to keep them. Thank you, Bombay Scottish School, for everything that you have done for us. Thank you, everyone, for every single thing leading up to this moment. Dear Batch of 2022, I wish us all the very best of what this world has to offer. Thank you. Thank you, dear students. I now request the class teachers of grades 10, A, B and C to come forward and express their feelings as they send forth their students for the ICAC exams. 10 A, Ms. Anisha Lewis, 10 B, Ms. Joanna Staines, and 10 C, Ms. Neha Sharma. My dear students, words cannot express how much I've missed seeing all of you in a classroom each day. However, I'm also thankful that we did get the opportunity to come to school. I realize that these drastic changes weren't easy, but I'm extremely proud of your efforts. I'm proud of the flexibility, positivity, and the resilience that you have shown during these times. Remember that you are wiser, more independent, and more responsible now. I'm so glad that you have grown in every area of your life. You will not just be passing out from a prestigious institution, but also be doing so as young minds more equipped with the right mindset and life skills needed for the future ahead. This day marks both the end of a very cherished school life and the beginning of your journey into a world full of opportunities and possibilities. So continue to be diligent and dedicated to your work. Life as you have witnessed is full of uncertainties and challenges. Expect some challenges to await you and when you come face to face with these, don't be afraid. Be focused, be determined, be hopeful, be empowered. Always lead by example with hope and not fear. Turn every challenge into an opportunity to do more and be more. Let me tell you a story. One day, a man was passing by a garden when he saw a butterfly cocoon which was about to open. He saw a small opening on it and watched the several hours of struggle the butterfly came through to get the body out of it. After many hours, it seemed that the butterfly stopped trying as there was no progress. He thought of helping the butterfly by cutting the cocoon with a pair of scissors. When he did so, the butterfly came out easily, but the wings were shriveled and the body was tiny and withered. As a result, the butterfly was not able to take flight and spent the rest of its life crawling with a wounded body. This is nature's way of showing us the importance of struggles in life. Sometimes, different kinds of struggles are needed in life to make us stronger for the future. Never feel disappointed, but keep fighting until you achieve success. 
and always remember to believe in yourself and know that there is something inside you that is much greater than any obstacle outside you. On this note, on behalf of our principal and all my colleagues, I bid you farewell and wish you all the best days ahead. Remember, as C.S. Lewis said, there are better things ahead than any we leave behind. God bless all of you. Saying goodbye is anyway difficult. This pandemic has made it even more arduous. Dear students, the last two years have been difficult and challenging in ways we could never have predicted. Some circumstances right now may be hard to change, but there are other things in our life that are good and inspire gratitude. Famous American talk show host Oprah Winfrey once said, be thankful for what you have. You will end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never have enough. There is so much for you to be thankful for. Be thankful that you could come to school these last few months. Be thankful for the good times you have had together, for the friendship that you still cherish, for the past many years that you spent in this school that you call your second home. In spite of two unusual school years, I want you to believe that this school has prepared you to face and deal with great challenges that await you and has nurtured you to build a strong foundation for the years ahead. Hold on to the passion you have for excellence in education and your commitment to learning. Always make sure that the same dedication guides your further studies and career. It is the beginning of a journey leading to new heights for you. Continue to be dedicated to your work. Step into the world with confidence and courage to forge your own path in life. Always desire to grow in knowledge and with it in wisdom for these are one of the most precious gifts one can ever ask for. I could not have asked for a better group of students. Even though we worked remotely, you were always there to help me with the challenges I faced with technology. Our Lensit program was put together and presented so beautifully. This was possible only because of your unconditional support and immensely admirable creativity. You were always willing to step up whenever called upon, be it to conduct the morning assemblies or any other task given to you. We were in it together all the way. I know that your future will be bright. I look forward to hearing about your excellence in the field you choose to pursue. Best wishes as you prepare to launch into the path of success and happiness. God bless you all. नए रास्ते खोजने को, कुछ नया कर दिखाने को, मंजिलों को अपना बनाने को, थोड़े से नादान, थोड़े से समझदार, परिंदे उड़ चले. A very good morning to everyone present here. As a class teacher of grade 10C, batch of 2022, I never thought that the day I would have to bid you a farewell would arrive so soon. I never had a time to pause and reflect on just how much I would miss the moments that I spent with you. But here we are now. As we grow comfortable with our present circumstances, Life demands change and we must unwillingly or willingly comply. If you want to reach heights and soar high, you need to have the courage and willpower to leave the ground below. As bittersweet memories cloud my mind, I look back at all the memories I have gathered with you, all the challenges we have faced and all the achievements we have celebrated together. I could not have asked for a better group of students. Through thick and thin, we have been together. Two years ago, when COVID-19 walked into our lives, its wrath shook us to our core. School went online. New paths of learning and life had to be explored. But we all held each other's hand and began moving forward. 
whatever we learn we went on to teach each other parents who were a great support encouraged us from time to time and kept boosting our morale i would like to thank each one of you present here for adding value to my life and for giving me a bag full of memories i believe each one of you is a gem and will take the learnings gathered here to a higher level of prosperity your various accomplishment in almost all curriculum and extracurricular activities have made us proud your brilliant achievements in academic discourse and in sports are heartily acknowledged your sweet memories will forever remain in our hearts though you will no longer be within the portal of the school this school will always remain in your hearts my dear students as you leave this school expect challenges to await you i strongly believe going by your antecedents and the manner in which you have conducted yourselves over the years and the skills and knowledge you have imbibed that you will surely overcome them martin luther king junior once said if you can't fly then run if you can't run then walk if you can't walk then crawl but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward at this point i want to implore you my dear outgoing students to always see yourselves as good ambassadors of the school never allow selfish interest to blemish the integrity that you have nurtured over the years in this great school be kind and good to people you meet on your way up allow god's word to guide you as your journey to greatness think big thoughts and be optimistic in whatever you do always remember what eleanor roosevelt said the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams ye daur khatm hua to kya hua ye daur khatm hua to kya hua ek aur naye khoobsurat daur ki shuruaat hogi isme bhi kuch aur baat thi usme bhi kuch aur baat hogi on behalf of the school i bid you farewell and wish each one of you the best for all your future endeavors may god bless you all thank you thank you teachers dear students do hold to the pearls of wisdom shared by your beloved class teachers it will stand you in good stead in the years ahead now may i request our principal to motivate and enlighten our icsc batch of 2022 as they prepare to leave the warmth and security of our school and step into a new phase of life good afternoon dear students in a short while you will gain momentum as you gear up for your preparations for the sem 2 of the board exams most of you and i do hope all of you will forge ahead and use every bit of time available to ensure you get the percentage that you want to achieve at the boards today however i am not here to talk about your impending board examinations but rather what is waiting for you outside of it it is going to be a hard knock life with unexpected challenges making its demands of consistent rigor from you you may be able to build up on your passion for the subjects you love or land up developing stress from the same You might even begin to question yourself and the choices you're making. You might want to take pause, stop, and assess if you are on the right path. Between where you are and who you want to be is a journey akin to that between the foothills of the mountain and its summit. And in between these two very important focal points is a whole mountain to climb. it may be a mountain with a steep incline or an uneven pathway with stones and a gravelly path making it difficult on your hike up but it is one that you must climb on your own you might have a tour guide 
You might have a cheerleading team that will support you and guide you on your way up. But remember that this physical, arduous journey is yours to make. So children develop patience to understand that anything as big as a life's goal requires time. It takes planning and organization. It takes discipline, consistency and sacrifice to turn you into this confident young person full of determination and grit. These are important qualities that your future workplaces will demand from you. And if you have decided that you are going to work for yourself in the true entrepreneurial spirit, you must have an abundance of these qualities. We have not raised quitters, children. We know that when things get difficult, you will remember our school motto, perseverance and faith in God. These difficult times are what defines you, not when you are being acknowledged recognized and rewarded for who you've become. These challenges will extricate from you your true character. And with God's grace, I know, you will not disappoint yourselves to chase your dreams and be all that you can be. All the very best. God bless you all. Thank you, ma'am, for your ever-encouraging words. We now come to the end of the valedictory prayer service. Thank you.